Hello everyone. So today we are going to see what are reports in Jira and how you can generate traceability metrics. So here at the menu section, you will see an option of reports. In the reports, if you go, there are different kinds of reports which you can generate and view your work progress. So it's like a graphical representation of your work. So there are different types. So we are going first with the burn down chart. If you open any kind of a chart, you will get such some options which you can uh, like use the drop down options and other things to get the chart display the displayed in front of you. So here you can see I have uh, this option here, which is TRP Sprint One B. This means this drop down actually gives you the option of sprint. Like you can choose the sprint which you need to see, like which graph you need to generate. So for example, if I generate for the registration is print only so here right now because it has already completed at that point of time so in this way it is displayed guideline is there in a gray line then there is a remaining value then there is a non-working day showing so non-working day is like saturdays and sundays because five day uh, five day from monday to friday it is called as a working period in J uh, in jira and saturday and sunday is the non-working day so you can accordingly select it or uh, unselect it to see the uh, record. If you go to the below section, there is a table generated which gives you the date, issue, event type, event details, all these things in this particular table. So this is burn down chart. If you go to the burn up chart, same way you can choose the uh, sprint. Right now I'm choosing TRP sprint one. Here you can see some options are increased. There you can only see the scope like the red line and the gray line which is the guideline. But here you have work scope, work projection, completed work guideline. So here, here you can see in this way this chart is generated. Gray is the guideline, red is the scope and this is the working period it shows. And if you go to here on 3rd of May this particular sprint is completed. If you go below. Same thing in the uh, table is date, event type, issue. But here you can see the difference from the burn down and burn up chart is because in burn down chart only issue keys are mentioned there like TRP1, TRP2. But here you can see the with the issue uh, key even the detail is also mentioned that what is that issue type. So and its uh, event type is also mentioned. So this is the burn, burn up chart. If you go to the sprint report, so what are the sprint? There are like this is TRP sprint one. If you go to this uh, registration sprint, that you will see here. It same way the burn down uh, chart is generated, same way it is generated. But the difference is the report section. Here, key is there, summary of the report, like the story which is there. Then what is the bug type it is? Uh, so it is a bug type here, it is a story type, then task, then bug, it's priority and what is its status. So these are called reports and these are graphical repre representation of your work, which could be accessed by you or your team members, anyone to see your progress. Now how we can generate the traceability metrics. So this is the very important part. Traceability metrics requirement traceability matrix so what is this actually requirement traceability matrix or traceability matrix is where we are creating a table and we are linking our requirements with the test cases that means if you have one requirement and for that requirement you have created for example five test cases so that we will actually generate it in the form of a matrix so that after our work is done so we can easily monitor that how many requirements are covered and how many requirements are mapped with your test cases. So how you can do that is just go to the below section in your menu. Just go to the cipher scale. In the cipher scale, you have to come to the reports. In the reports, you will get the traceability. Choose the, that option and choose the first option, which is traceability report. 
now if you come here at this section it has your project details then you can uh, use the different filter options like you can choose the da uh, date range from which date to which date you have to generate the report then you have two result type you can choose the last test execution or all test execution i'm choosing all test execution so here i'll get the overall information of how many time i have executed the test cases and whatever the requirements i have and then this is the setting type then you just click on the generate option and when you click on the generate option you can see a matrix is generated here a table is generated here which is covering coverage which is your user story or requirement then it has test cases test execution result and issues so how you can monitor this for example you have two requirements or two coverage so one this one the first one has one test case and this is the test case it has executed one time like it if we have started it but it not it does not complete it so it ha it is saying here not executed and there are zero issue if you go to the second coverage so for second coverage there are three test cases so each test case is mentioned here and if you see how many time it is executed the first two are executed one one time so one is passed one is failed and second one is executed two time one is in in progress and second one is failed and how many issues are created for that that is also mentioned so in this way you can generate reports and you can generate traceability matrix to review your work